Hello, time for a video about one of my favorite things, the high-speed printer. The high-speed printer is not a copier. It uses a different technique of making a screen, which we can see here, this stuff right here, that then rolls over each piece of paper. With that in mind, that there's an actual master copy inside the machine, we first have to make our own master before printing. For example, I have my papers loaded up ready to be copied, but if I press the print button, I'd be printing whatever was printed last time because I haven't made a new master. So here's the kanji we'll be looking for to make our master. Sometimes it's automatic and it says it will make this next time. Sometimes there's a button at the top, but at any rate, look for this kanji. This means make the master. So let's do it. <laughs> Beautiful. Now we're ready to print. One thing you can do is class print. In my case, I'm looking for this X. I'm going to press that, and I can see how many I want by how many classes. If I needed to print 40 copies for my seven classes, I would print 40 papers for my seven classes, and I'd click OK, or press print. I won't do that now because I don't need that many papers. What will happen is after it prints one class, you can take one of these scraps of paper here, which are found in every school, place it on top of the stack, and then separate them easily. This is the fastest way to print a lot of copies without getting classes confused. When we're printing, we might find ourselves needing to add paper so we don't have to add paper during the middle of a print run. There's a button that helps us do this. On all printers, you'll find a small button here which lowers the bay for paper. This way you can put as much as you like. In some cases on the side, in other cases it may be in the middle, but it's usually there. Use that to your advantage. Finally, on nearly all machines, there is a quick way to produce one more print, and that's here. Test print, or in this case, something I can't read. Let's try that out. That's right, it prints exactly one. One last piece of advice on using high-speed printers. If, like me, you choose to use recycled paper for your printing, use this tip. Print slow. The rough paper at high speed often jams. Me, I print a little slower. Make sure that the usku or koku, the level of ink is normal, and I get my prints when I need them without interruption. So, one more time, if you're using recycled paper for your printing, please consider using a lower speed setting. Okay? This has been a short video on how to use and better understand the high speed printer.